Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa <coughs> Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is Pinball Fantasies for the Commodore Amiga. Uh, more specifically, Pinball Fantasies AGA, which was for the Amiga 1200 or any other Amiga that had the AGA chipset. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. This really is the uh, title page, <laughs> the title screen, whatever you want to call it. This is it. Uh, the, the standard version had a much more interesting uh, <laughs> title page, to put it mildly. <coughs> However, it did take a lot longer to load, so... Yeah, I... I Okay, back in the day, was the AGA version here is the version that I had. Um, yeah, initially I wasn't too impressed with this uh, uh, layout, as well, such as it is. But uh, it did grow on me because everybody else I knew who had uh, Pinball Fantasies just had the standard version. And I didn't like the way it was set up. It was... Uh, uh, it came on three discs. The first disc uh, loaded up the uh, actual main game and the, the main menu. Uh, the second disc came with the first two tables and the third disc came with uh, tables three and four. And depending on which tables you wanted to play, uh, you had to put that uh, disc into drive two or drive DF1 rather. Uh, but he did only use the, uh, the the two drives at most. This version uses uh, all four drives. It comes on four uh, discs, the uh, AGA version. So I have all four discs in uh, all four drives. So I don't have to do any poncing about with uh, disc swapping or anything like that. So uh, yes, while the uh, uh, presentation um, on the title page is absolutely abysmal and frankly non-existent uh, it saves a lot of time it means that the, uh, the the real sort of like content the actual tables themselves all the effort has gone into those which I'm quite okay with so uh, right I'm hoping that this video won't go on for an age but uh, well my review of uh, Pinball Dreams went on for longer than I planned. And this has the same number of tables. So, well, here we go. Let's load up the first one then, which is Party Land. Now, the actual difference um, between uh, how the tables look in uh, the standard version and the AGA version, they are quite subtle, but they are there. Rather unsurprisingly, they are more colourful, and the fading in and out is done a lot better. But really, that's about it. I mean, you shouldn't, well, not if you have any sense anyway, you shouldn't expect uh, the tables to play any differently, and indeed they don't. Uh, one other difference, actually, I just uh, remembered, is the uh, music quality. Um in terms of how clear it is, is a lot better, um, which rather caught me by surprise. That's something I was not expecting at all. So, uh, well, you can see the table layout. I must admit, I used to think that uh, the Pinball Fantasy tables were three uh, screen, uh, no, the height of uh, three screens. They're not quite that high, it's just over two. But, um, yeah, where the uh, designs really uh, sort of hold a sort of notable uh, improvement over Pinball Dreams is that uh, the layouts on each table, there's much greater variety. There's a much bigger difference between the four tables. Now, in this one, you can have up to eight players. Um, but mercifully I don't have eight people here so it's just going to be me, it will be single player games so here we go then get uh, this first table underway 
now there is a skill shot which I completely fucked up. You can also see that there is now the additional flipper up towards the uh, top of the uh, screen. And uh, three of the four tables have the additional flipper which is uh, quite handy, especially if you can actually use it properly, which I failed to do there. There you go, I've got cold ice cream. Yes, I must admit when it comes to uh, getting ice cream, I do prefer getting the cold one. Now while there are a number of improvements in this uh, Pinball Fantasies compared to Pinball Dreams, it does also have some of the same issues. Uh, the physics on the ball isn't quite right. There are some areas where it just doesn't move um, as it should. It just seems that it seems to float around more than, than anything. It just doesn't move like a metal ball. Um, it also, of course, has the same, uh, you know, reliance on uh, luck, which is, let's say, being a pinball game, you can't avoid that. It, it, it's always going to be there. Uh, it also can be immensely frustrating when the ball, you know, just gets launched or something and then goes straight out. Uh, but by and large, it is um, a huge improvement over Pinball Dreams. All four of the tables, although they're not all great, um, they just play a lot better. Um, this table I do quite like. I'm not a big fan of the subject matter, but the table plays well. I'm also doing rather better than I expected. And yes, of course, as soon as I fucking say that, straight out. So, 3,354,000 on ball one, which actually is not that great. There we go, so I've got a skill shot there. Now if you can get all of the uh, crazy letters there that it mentioned, which involves not doing what I did just then. But yeah, so you spell out party, you then start off uh, happy hour and every target is worth a million points so it's uh, a good way of getting a, a fucking decent score but when something like that fucking happens you start off doing well and then the last uh, ball comes along no, it will fuck you off that's a feature there that uh, I almost wish I hadn't done that got the high score but there we go um, what you saw at the end there is a feature that uh, appears on a lot of uh, actual real pinball tables, as I'll start a second go, it randomly picks a number for you, and then uh, you get the. Uh oh, fuck off! If you can then match uh, the number. Oh, damn, this is really starting to take the fucking piss! So I'm already on ball three. Oh, fucking good of ya. Yeah, anyway, yeah, if you can match the number, as the ball's got stuck there, there we go, um, you then get an extra ball. See, so, I mean, that was an unbelievably fucking cuntish go. There you go, so, yeah, doesn't match it. I mean, the odds of 10 to 1 against you, so, yeah, being able to uh, do that, or get that, yeah, it's not very likely. Anyway, that table really fucked me off after that go, and that was after I said that that was one of the, uh, 
to good tables. Now it constantly does this. I think this is a result of the uh, crack here. It's trying to save the high score and it keeps coming up that uh, volume Pinball Fantasies 1 is full. Uh, so there you go, loading high score. Well, high score save failed. So uh, right, we'll uh, skip saving the high score. Go on to the next table which is Speed Devils. Which is a bit of a shit name actually. I mean considering it's in it's all about you know supercars and all that speed demon i think is really the the right phrase in it speed devil sounds shit <laughs> <laughs> it almost sounds a bit camp you know <laughs> yeah i'm not uh, not too impressed with that title <sighs> so the tables don't take too long to load really but uh, well yeah I mean there we go now this one um, I do like the music uh, in this table and that is about it I am not an actual fan of the table layout at all so uh, right, let's get uh, this go underway and uh, here we are now I can't remember what the skill shot is for, for this table. They do all have a skill shot. This is also I think, one of the lower scoring tables of the uh, of the four. And when it does that, uh, it really does fuck you off. There was absolutely fuck all you could do about it and that is the reason why I think this is the worst table of the uh, of the lot and then straight down the fucking middle again so I can't play pinball games too many times on the trot which is why I was rather reluctant to put it mildly to review this game so soon after uh, Pinball Dreams because it's just now fucking me off with how many times the fucking ball just gets sent straight out and you know in a way that I just cannot do fuck all about it this is uh, a perfect example and a perfect illustration of the you know the sheer luck factor that pisses me off about pinball games and yet I do play them perhaps far more often than I fucking should uh, there you go I didn't have a fucking prayer of doing anything like that so uh. oh great it gives me the fucking matching number this time so now I've got an extra ball Just what I fucking wanted. I mean, okay, graphically uh, the table looks fine, and uh, yeah, like I say, uh, the terms of uh, the music. I think the music on this table is really good. I do uh, really like it, but I don't like the table layout, and uh, I hate how fucking frustrating and how annoying this table can and often is okay. and that will go out as well yeah there you go so that was fucking worth doing the uh, extra ball for Right, well, I'm going to regret this. I'll have one more go on here. Right. Alright, let's see if... Uh, well, all one has lasted longer than it did on the uh, first go. Yeah, now I've got to get it up there, there we go, so bonus times two. 
Not that it really matters because the bonus is always extremely fucking low on this table. Because I just can't last long enough to uh, build it up. That was going straight out. That one is. Told you. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, fuck off. I knew that at some point the ball was going to go straight out because, yeah, there was nothing I could fucking do. Well, that wasn't where I wanted to put it, but. So I've got a million for the successive uh, ramps, but uh, let's see if I can do it again. No, straight fucking out instead. So yeah, you may be starting to see why I do not like this table. It is so fucking frustrating. As if, you know, pinball isn't frustrating and based on luck enough, it fucking does that. So, yeah, this table is possibly the worst for that. Um, and that's despite what fucking happened in the uh, last table. So anyway, right, that table can fuck off. So, uh, yeah, this is going well. Alright, so, billion dollar game show. It doesn't get much better. This table I'm not a huge fan of. I just find it boring. Um, the layout is certainly unusual, but uh, yeah, I'm, it just doesn't really grab me. And uh, the, the, the subject matter is a bit shite as well, I think. But, uh, well, I can hardly review pinball fantasies and then not bother with uh, one of the uh, four tables in it. So here we go when it loads alright here we are now the music I think is a bit dreary um, in this one and that doesn't help to uh, build up the atmosphere so um, plenty of ramps on this one but that's really about it there's a huge empty space down there which where there's just nothing it's all up at the top of the table there so anyway right, let's get a go underway you never know which uh, ramp the ball is going to appear from when it goes through that central uh, like section Fucking. Uh. Okay. Well, I'm already doing better than I thought I would be. Oh, fucking hell. That seemed to just speed up from nowhere. I had no time to fucking react. I seem to re recall that uh, that happens fairly often on this table is one of the reasons why I'm not that keen on it. What the fuck are you supposed to do there? So, so far this video is really showing you just how ridiculous the uh, amount of luck uh, is involved when playing pinball games. And it's one of the reasons why they piss me off so much. I've had someone, I can't remember who it is, asked me two or three times to do more Pinball FX2 uh, table reviews which I'm not doing, I'm waiting for Pinball FX3 to come along it's not just that, it's the fact I just get so fucked off with the uh, level of luck needed I mean I'm not a uh, pinball playing genius so that means I have far far more than 50% luck 
in any go I had. So, I mean, I'm probably looking at, uh, at best, 75% luck in every go uh, pinball that I play. Now, how the fuck are you supposed to enjoy a game where you need that fucking amount of luck every time you play it? And like I said in the Pinball Dreams uh, review, even if you are great at pinball, you are still looking at, you know, a 50% luck if you want to actually get anywhere. So, it's, it's one of those game genres where, yes, I like playing them initially, and I like playing them in very, very short bursts. I'll we'll start another game. But, um, pinball very quickly absolutely fucks me off. And, um, yeah, I, I start to uh, utterly detest it. And then, yeah, I just have as little to do with it as I can for months. Before I think, oh, okay, I might be able to stomach giving it another try. So if I can get it back up that ramp again. There we go, it's a million. And if I can... I was going to say, if I can keep looping it around that ramp, I'll keep getting millions, but no. Oh, there we go. So I still, uh, it was still available. Didn't hit that anywhere near hard enough. And, yeah, there was fuck all I could do about that. Straight down the middle of it. I think I've already beaten the score on my last go, and that was just all one. Oh, fucking yes. I, oh, I thought that was going straight down. I actually got that skill shot. I can win a trip. Oh yeah, what kind of trip? I don't do any of that shit anyway, so, yeah. Oh, fuck it. You've got to hit the ball so fucking hard to get it around that uh, ramp there. That's... Oh, I was sure that was straight out as well. But that is... Oh, fuck me. Uh, this game's going to... Bring on some kind of fucking seizure. Ah, oh, you cunt. Right, let's see what I get for this one. It will be the minimum one. It nearly always is. Oh no, I've got five million, which is the maximum. Well, this is the table that I said was the most boring, so of course, it's the one that uh, I've been on for the longest so far. Because this second go is going on for a lot longer than I expected. I'll get another million. Can I get it up there for a third? No, that wasn't even close. So I've got the trip and the TV lit, but I can't fucking remember what uh, I have to hit in order to uh, do that. Oh, you fucking... I'm gonna... Ah, oh, bollocks to it. Yeah. <laughs> This is one of the problems with a table that has so many ramps. That you've got to hit the ball hard enough to get it, you know, actually around the ramp. Otherwise, forget it. And straight out. That was fucking good of it. A cunting thing. 
There you go, so 12 million. Oh bollocks, I've just forgotten. That was only ball two, I thought that was ball three. Uh, you can bet your life this one's not going to last five seconds because there's always at least one ball where I do fuck all with it. That was shit. Uh, oh, I thought that was definitely going straight between them. Fuck's sake! See, this is more like it, just getting a piss and fucking 50,000s or whatever. So I've lit the TV again, but I ain't got a fuck's clue what to do to actually win it. So, oh, all target score half a million. There's plenty of targets here. I've just got a million. And I've been hitting them throughout the fucking game, but now I got this. Miss every single fucking one. So there you go. 14.8 million. And I didn't get that, but I did get the high score. Oh joy. Right, okay, let's get out of this one and head to the final uh, table. Once I skip through all this fucking, uh, yeah, volume is full, yeah, fuck off. Skip it, right, so on to table four, stones and bones. Back in the day, this was not only my favourite uh, table on uh, Pinball Fantasies, it was my favourite pinball table on any uh, pinball game. Uh, in fact, I know I'm going to regret this because this table is now going to be an absolute cunt in both goes that I have on it. But I still think this is the best table of any pinball game I've played. So I prefer this to any table in Pinball FX2. Now of course... People who weren't around back in the day are now going to see this table, look at the layout and say, well, that's really shit, but, you know what, I don't give a fuck. So, um, the first thing you may have spotted with this table is that uh, it doesn't have the second or third, rather, flipper. It is just the two flippers at the bottom. That's the only thing that I would change about this table. I would like to see uh, the third flipper somewhere. Back in the day, I managed on three occasions to get scores in the billions on this table. There is no way I will get within 0.1% of that this time. Especially when that fucking happens. <coughs> so you see what I mean? I've, I've, you know, I've built it all up and now it's just been an absolute fucking cunt. So I've got a million for that, but you know, that's that's all I'm going to fucking do. So let's get on with the, the review before this game fucks me off any more than it already has. Uh, audio, I think the audio is actually pretty fucking good. Uh, it's a vast improvement over the audio in uh, Pinball Dreams. Uh, the AGA version in particular... Um, the audio is excellent. Um, I mean, the music is the same in the standard version, but it's just uh, much clearer in uh, the AGA version. I have no idea why, because the AGA chipset uh, chip shouldn't make the slightest fucking difference to uh, audio. But nevertheless, that's what happens. Graphics, I mean, the, uh, there you are. what the fucking hell are you supposed to do about that? Um, so, graphics, uh, 
the differences between the uh, regular version and the AGA version are fairly slight, but they are there. The AGA version, the graphics are quite colourful. They do, you know, they do look uh, better. Um, but I mean, the graphics are great in uh, both versions. Um, the tables are slightly larger than they are in uh, the um, uh, Pinball Dreams, but not by as much as I thought they were. Uh, so, yeah, graphically, it's it's fine. And then the gameplay, uh, the tables. I can't believe, uh, after what you've seen in this video, I cannot believe that I'm about to say what I'm about to say, but uh, the tables do play better um, in this than they do in uh, Pinball Dreams. But, I mean, it is a pinball game, which means you have enormous amounts of luck. Um, I refuse to believe anyone who says it's all skill. No, it fucking isn't. Um... It is staggeringly frustrating. I really do feel like punching my keyboard so fucking hard that I could break it in two. Um, this game, in the course of this video, has fucked me off to a degree that I cannot describe. I am seriously uh, on the verge of bursting every blood vessel in my neck trying to s remain calm uh, whereas in fact what I want to do is rip out the innards of my computer because this game has fucked me off like you would not fucking believe and um, yeah that's that's pinball for you that's what it's all about it's there to get you to play it, it will then fuck you off like nothing else on this earth possibly can and yet it keeps you coming back for more like a fucking masochistic cunt so I, I, I want to give this game fuck off out of 10 but you know that's just because it's pissed me off um, it's, say, it's, it's better than uh, Pinball Dreams uh, which I, I scored at 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I rate this uh, 7 out of 10. And, um, yeah. I'll tell you what, the audio better work on this. I did a couple of audio tests and it better be fine because if I have to play this game again any time this year um, and well, fucking hell, you won't need to uh, watch a video uh, to hear me fucking shouting what I think of this game. You'll be able to hear it live when it happens, no matter whereabouts in the country you are. So, fucking hell, was that only ball one? That's going straight out. I mean, I haven't really been able to show you any of the features on this table because I just can't fucking get anywhere. So I managed to save the ball, but it went straight fucking out anyway. Now this fucking thing is really starting to piss me the fuck off. Tower is open, but I've got no fucking chance of being able to get the ball up there. For one thing, the ball actually has to stay in play for more than 10 seconds, so yeah, that's that out of the fucking window. There you go, told you.
used to be able to keep that loop going for fuck knows how long. And when it scores a million a time, yeah. So I've opened the tower again, but I'd be amazed if I can do anything with it. There you go, so it's five million. So I've actually got the kickback activated, but that's only there. So now I need to end with a roll, which is easier said than done. There we go. Soldier. I'm not going to be getting 10 screens, so you know, you can forget that uh, extra ball fucking. Okay, now, I, this was supposed to be like just a quick, like, final go. I, that's why I rushed through doing the review. see why I was able to get scores in the billions uh, back in the day because uh, all the uh, bonus features and that are all quite high scoring. Things like all of the targets and what have you don't score very much but uh, you know all of the uh, other stuff yeah they really do uh, open up some uh, pretty hefty uh, bonus scores. Just shy of a million just for that fucking thing. Yeah, I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Anyway, I'm almost glad it did because it means I can finally get this fucking frustrating fucking sack of shit out of my face. Oh, you. Oh, fucking hell. I started a two player game. That's why this guy's been going on for so fucking long. I thought I pressed F1. Well, I'm gonna fucking leave it. Just go straight out. Now, is that gonna be game over? I was saying, nobody got a uh, fucking, uh... yeah, whatever. Well, there you go, so that is Pinball Fantasies then, uh, seven and a half out of ten. It's a decent game, but that said, this game has now just really fucked me off so much because of how much of a cunt all four tables were being. So that brings this review to an end, and we'll see you at the next one.